Yeah, another video, we are back. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. I do the clapping thing so I can sync up the camera. Right. Run away, run from Scotty. Ah, nice. Oh, see, I ripped the thing off. See, I wasn't supposed to do that, and I dropped the piece. And it's so small. Don't move, don't move. Let me take a photo of you. Hang on, just wait. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Yo, welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, hey. You're watching Bemis. Told you, I'd review all sorts of crazy stuff. You guys seem to enjoy that last Mork Dork video. There's actually another set right there. I want to review it for you guys, but it's so close, yet so different. Should I do it? You guys can't see it. I can see it. Okay, here's a quick sneak peek. Yeah, that's the one. Should I do it? Yes, let me know in the comments. Anyway, we're gonna look at some smaller sets today. My time in the office is really precious. Anyway, I'm really busy packing orders and I have to finish that big project I've been working on for like the last three years. Once that's out of the way, I can do more videos for you guys. But in the meantime, we're gonna look at some little sets like this right here. Just so you know, this is not Lego size. These are laws size, L-O-Z, brick size, if you're familiar with laws, and you know what you're getting yourself into. But this is not from the laws brand. This is from a brand called Lin or L-I-N-07, which is also known as Zigao. Let's look into these, shall we? But just before we dive into it, thank you so much for following me on Toy Me Up Scotty, on my YouTube channel, my other channel for reviewing toys. You know, I was using this turntable, which is broken. So a fan, Nick, sent me this manual one down below a while ago. I've been using this to show off those products. I'm like, yeah, that kind of works well. Might as well just do it while it's here for well, these little guys. So what you're seeing here is LIN07. I just call these four Camera Series 2. Yeah, so there's four of them in front of me. We'll go through them one by one. I'll let you know the model number. And they've actually previously released like seven other ones. I have one of them here. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it or not. But after building these four, I'm like, hey, these are pretty cool. So I'm gonna order the rest of the older ones. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you that one and I'll show you another set that they have as well. If you want to know more about Lost Size, I've actually done a couple of Lost reviews. Go follow those. I'll put those links here and down below, wherever. But just so you know, I can just show you right here. This is the Lego brick separator and this is the Lin 07 separator. They also have logos on their studs too. But you can see the size difference right there. Same, same, but different. Overall, for this particular series, this is quite new, by the way. These ones were really fun to put together. They were not perfect. Each one kind of had a downfall. You know, we'll see if I can remember it when I review it. Which one should we start first? Let's go out of whack, out of order. We'll start with the one that's already on the spinning table. Woo! So they call this one Polaroid. I think they actually spelled that right. And it looks like it's actually based on the Polaroid One Step 2. This is 00909, 628 pieces. If you want to know, this is what the box looks like. They certainly jacked up my box. Look at that. This is why we prefer not to send orders out with boxes because they can get pretty damaged even coming from the factories themselves. Yeah. But just so you know, there's the brand. It is from Zigao. It's also made by Kuanglong. They have a couple of sets as well. I told you guys, it's all like the same thing, man. They're all in the same area. It's from Chantal. They're all from there. This is the manual. Instruction is actually pretty easy to read. For this specific set, I had a wrong piece. It was only a single piece on the back. It's like the viewfinder. It's a one by two brick with a hole in it. Mine was kind of deformed. It's fine. I just replaced it with some other bricks. That's okay. We can always replace those, especially if you order sets from us. Missing pieces, we try our best to source for you guys. Anyway, here it is. Very cute. I'm like, wow, the pink looks really good. And not a lot of stickers. I was like, yeah, they minimize on the sticker. Now the first series, which I'll show you later, tons of stickers and they just weren't that great. This to me looks very nice. I like the detail. I like the front there. They used a car tire for the lens part. That was actually pretty cool. Pull it out here. That's what it looks like. The rainbow stripes. Super color 10,000 Polaroid camera. Well, it could be a little bit better on the font, but man, I'm nitpicking on these things. Still looks really cool. And actually the top piece here, 
it's being held down by this tile there, which is also a prince. Prince, prince, heart, prince. The flash right there is just transparent bricks. You know, if they had brick lights that side and put one there, it'd be perfect. This side mirrors the other side as well. And we swing to the back here. This part right here is where I had the deformed piece. It wouldn't fit in the mold problem. So minor thing. I'll get a replacement for that later. But that's supposed to be the viewfinder where you look through there. There's a press button here. Doesn't do anything. It's just for looks, man. What's cool down here in the front, it does open up. Don't pull it down all the way underneath. It'll just like break off right there. But they have pictures. This is what the pictures look like. Two pictures. Now, these are stickers, unfortunately. Wah, wah, wah. Stickers going over the big tile. Nice artsy looking flower pot. It can go inside, but it cannot get, go in all the way. That's the furthest it'll go in. You might want to open this and, and put it in and then close it because I think you'll rip the sticker off over time. It's a great idea though. But yeah, look, it's, it's tiny. It is a lot smaller. Could you build this with Lego bricks? You probably could. Got to find the right colors. I'd be interested. Who's up for the challenge? Do it. Let me know if it works for you. Here's the second picture, which is actually more appropriate. This is the picture we've all taken. Anyway, that sticker is cute. It says, just love. On the top, there are two hearts here. Those are all prints. This one was actually solid. Just one wrong piece. You can see me holding this. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. It's just whether or not you like this, this size bricks. For me, hey, it's cool. It's not as bad as nano block. A lot of you guys are like, my fingers hurt when I do these things. I'm perfectly fine using this. So there you go. That is the Polaroid. What's next? Let's get away from the pink a little bit. Let's look at something very black. This is Kingston. They call this 71A KD-8 digital camera. This is going back, way back. This is old school. This is the box for it. Again, it's all dinged up and jacked up. You guys can request boxes if we can fit them in. You know, you just gotta let, I don't know. We're gonna order from us. It looks like the camera boxes that you buy, like the Canon cameras and stuff. And they have a bunch of Canon cameras from the other sets and Hasselblad and all those, but they call it like really funny names, like this one. The manual looks like that. Once again, they're pretty, pretty easy to follow. I got done with these really fast. It doesn't take a lot of time at all. No missing pieces on here, no deformed pieces, but loose pieces, yes. Right here inside, I don't even know what this is, but inside there, that piece will fall out. You can just keep that out. You will probably wouldn't have even noticed anyway. But wow, I like it. It's cool. It's got this vintage look to it. It's probably the most fragile out of all of them. Cause you're like, oh, please don't pop off. But so far, everything is intact. These are stickers here, where it says Kingston. And along the top here, are those prints or the stickers? See, sometimes they're stickers, sometimes they're prints. You know, I'm pretty sure that these are prints right here. That's pretty cool. They don't really line up, but hey man, minimizing on sticker is a-okay with me. It's interesting they're using a lot of wheel pieces from their vehicles. I guess you're supposed to have like a spool of reel of film that goes in through these and it goes down there and you're supposed to like, yeah, but this is just for looks. They can't make it fully functioning, man. Dreaming. Okay, you swing back around here to the front. Sticker here, sticker down here. Prints on the very small circles, those are prints. Oh, there's a couple of stickers here that are peeling off because they kind of wrap around. But I really like the detail. It looks so cool. This thing, you know, I'm not a, a vintage camera guy. This thing doesn't actually hook to anything. So I'm not sure, they just show it in the picture, like going back here. I'm not sure where that's supposed to attach to. These all spin just fine, like that. I'll hold this down here, there, Whee! The one on the top spins just fine as well. And there's like a couple more detailed jiggers there. That's more or less it. I mean, it's really a display thing. If you want to see like, oh, Scotty looks really fragile. If I hold it here, pick it up, lift it up, nothing's really going to fall off. You know, some of these pieces might pop off here and there. The loose piece is stuck in there now. I got it. I think I had one piece. Yeah, see this circle piece? There it is. Yeah, these two pieces are, are pretty loose. So it's got to be a little bit more gentle. I can't get it on. Oh, there it goes. But as you can see if I'm like, ah, hey, look at this. Look, yeah, everything seems to be pretty snug inside. The plate was a little bit loose when I was putting it together. I'm like, man, this thing's not gonna hold up. But hey, there you can see it's holding up pretty well. Yeah, nice size. You know, for all you film freaks, 
might be good for you. Now let's dive back into something pink again. So they call this one Intax Mini 7C 00908. They call it Fujifilm, Fujifilm. And it's based on their product line called Instax. I'm not even sure what model this is. They all kind of look similar, but they nailed the overall look to it. But it looks very bricked out, which I like. And this is pretty solid. Do I have any issues with this one? I can't remember. Just to show you the box there, my dinged up box. Ooh, massive damage. Instructions. You know, these things are pretty simple, man. Y'all can manage. You'll get it. I think there's only a couple stickers here. The ones that curve on the front of the lens and on the side. This thing can actually rotate. Look at that. Spins pretty good. Pops off quite easily. But you know that piece that you see in Lego where it's like a circle piece. Anyway, there. I just like spinning it. If I pick it up for scale, you can see, yeah, this, it's smaller. It should be bigger, right? It's not Lego size. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I had any issues with this one. I think this is one of the only ones that I didn't have any missing pieces. The paws are prints down there. There's a better look at the sticker. That's correct. Fujinon lens, 60 millimeter. Wow. Hello Rabbit sticker. What does it say on the top? Enjoy your summer days. The rabbit and the logo there are prints. It's kind of crazy looking, but I like the fact that it does look bricked up. If I rotate it to the back here. Ooh, that is a sticker. Please, desired setting to the green lane. What does that mean? Indoor dark over sky fine clear. The camera setting. This does pop open like that, simple. And you can see inside, I'm not quite sure, maybe it was a design thing. The film will stick only halfway down, but at least you get two pictures or film there. Nice looking models, but just to show you how it fits in the back here, there. So it won't go in all the way and you can see it sticking out on the top there. You close it up. Now I can be like, take a picture. Yeah, three, two, one. Ah, ooh, sexy. Mmm, this is the first photo, daily record, those are stickers, going across tiles. But I'm, I'm happy that it actually comes with like, the film you can stick in the camera. Kids are probably gonna play with this. The, the only thing that will pop off will be the lens. She looks so lonely. Happy trip, does she look happy to you? She's like, I wanna get out of here. With a little doggy. You know, I'm happy with it. Nothing's like, you know, I was expecting really the worst. Like I'm like, oh man, stickers are gonna suck. Build's gonna suck. Well, it wasn't that bad, you know? I can't remember anything was missing on this one. See, that's the only thing that's loose. She's not perfect. Back to the man's camera. Yeah, the last one. This one is actually on a tripod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tripod off, which is actually a pretty cool design. I like this, by the way. It just, yeah, it looks like over time, it might wanna break off. We'll come back to that. And, oh, this piece came off with it. I'll put this right here. Woo, yeah, look at that. So they call this the House Chill. 189T G1613 00904. This one's the most, this one's like 694 pieces. The box, the magnificent box. With all the details right there. Ding up box, the ding box. The manual, instructions, looks just fine. Save this for yourself. Personally, I think this one's my favorite. It's got that really old vintage look. And this is what's really cool to put together, except where like this part is, it's very tedious. You're gonna repeat that over and over, which is the majority of the camera. And the other parts are really fast to put together. The back looks really cool. I like that. I think this is like supposed to open up, but this is all just for show here. So it won't really open up there. Minimal printing. You know, I don't think this one actually has stickers on it. It should be all just prints. But I like the detail on the front. This is really cool. So this one can twirl. Is that for like the film adjustment? I'm not sure. And it even has this little pump thing right here. This pops off pretty easy just because, you know, it's on a very thick kind of wire that can pop off. This is the shutter, right? It's like a little pump. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are thumping. Just to show you the prints there, how sale on the front, kind of wish that was the original name. Is it Hasselblad? No, it's not Hasselblad, is it? And the font choices, yeah, 
Yeah, camera model, that looks a little bit off. But those are prints, yeah, so there's, there's no stickers on here. Even over here, it says collection. I like this overall look and the frame that goes up. Might be a little bit fragile right along here, so be careful. Let's a closer look at the back of the transparent pieces. So this doesn't do anything back here. If I flip this this way, I'll be, I'll go this way, right there. Zigao block, you know it's Zigao. Here's a quick look at the tripod legs, look at that. Super secure, but when you're putting weight onto it, you have to, got to be careful with this thing. It looks like it just wants to explode over time. So you want to make sure everything is nice and snug. Get your camera out, stick it in like that. Oh, this is going to be interesting to drop. Oh, see that piece came off again on the bottom. So if you want to get this piece back on, it's because the, the tripod piece is kind of pushing up on it. You have to take out the arms here like that. This whole section can kind of pull off. Take this part off. And then you've got the base. Cause you know it's all about the base, about the base, about the base. I was gonna see if I can open this up, but there's there's really nothing to see inside. Can I take the back off? Uh, the back is just poorly, poorly there. Nothing inside. Individually secure. That's good. When it's together, a little bit more fragile. So that's the four of them there. This one is a Nikon Nikon camera, like this there. And this is from the older series. I'm just going to show it to you really fast. If you guys really like this, you want to see the old ones, let me know. I will have either get them all for me and I'll review them for you if you like this. So this is Nikan FY2A LR129008044. Oh, I don't know how many pieces this one is. You're gonna to have to look it up yourself. But as the Nikon boys told me, this is based on the Nikon DF. So it's an older Nikon model. There it is. You can see all the stickers there. So you can kind of see the stickers are on a, a, a clear film and they're not like that perfect. But overall, I was like, I was like really expecting the worst out of this camera and it was actually not too bad. There were a couple loose pieces here that might pop off on you. You know, you can put no stickers on and see what it's like, but they're all stickers, okay? So the newer versions actually have prints. So I'm not sure if they're gonna like redo these and like put prints on them. Still pretty okay. It's not like terrible. It looks very bricky. It's just not Lego size. The back can open up. This. It's very weak on the hinge that can pop off. And when you close it, don't close it all the way, just stop right there. If you push it in too far, then it's kind of weird. Or maybe that's just the way I built it. I did it wrong, maybe it was me. Just to show you guys, size for my fingers there. You know what you gotta do? When you apply this sticker on, you gotta rub one out, man. Oh, like that, I mean, literally. I was rubbing on these things for like a few minutes and it went more and more clear. I'm like, oh, okay, it looks a little bit better. When you first apply them, it's gonna be like all bubbly and gray looking. Yeah, so gotta rub one out for the camera, man. You know, I'm quite terrible with technical terms for old school cameras. This here is like the shutter button or you pull it back to wind the reel, I can't remember. But this one's actually pretty loose, comes off like that. So that one will pop off. Everything else seems to be intact. The front of the lens, you know, might pop off like that. That's what it looks like there. What a cool looking sensor. Don't touch the sensor. You'll damage the camera. The lens is also a little bit fragile. I don't want to push down here, but it'll push in all these parts. Actually, I can kind of open this up here and show you. There, the design. So yeah, it'll move here and there. And so you don't want to push down like that. There's more stickers there on the side. Yeah. Okay, last one. I promised you I'd show you this. This is another Lin 07. Zigao series. This is, a, I just call it a Japanese house series. Each one is a little bit different from another. This one is a Zaka shop or household item shop. That's what they call it. This one is 00869. I was actually pretty happy overall with the build. I think it's great. It's not perfect. This telephone pole was extremely loose using the two by two round pieces here. Everything else was fine. I like the rooftop. I had a little cat up there. That was cool. Reminds me of the old fishing store. I love where they do tiling like that. The back is open. You can see. It does not come with any figures, it's just animals. You only get dogs and cats in this one. There's the other side there. I'll fix it straight a little bit more. You can see the studs are very small. 
here. You guys saw this in my last video. There's the demon dog right there. Demon doggy. I like it. I especially like the, the magazines, the tiles back there. There is a, There are a lot of stickers on this one. Some I think are prints. Have fun putting those on. But the sticker quality in themselves are pretty okay. Let's just show you back here. Let's see if we can get inside this shop. So the rooftop can kind of come off. I'll pull them off, not supposed to. Let me just rip it off for you. All right, the rooftop is off, a lot of light coming in. You can see some detail in there. Got a counter, simple stuff, man. And on this side, it's just like a big kind of cabinet blocking there. More items there, not much room in here. You know, you're probably gonna end up just using this as a display. I thought it was actually pretty cool. But yeah, the telephone pole, watch this. You're gonna walk around with it and be like, hey, look, 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 look at my little house. Look. Oh no, oh. Oh, I shouldn't have done it like that because now I gotta go look for them. Okay. Drop test time. First, I'll drop the, the pictures because we all know those are gonna survive. See? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one first. We're gonna go out of order. These are smaller bricks, so I don't have to go too high. I'm not chickening out. I got a careful man. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, only one piece flew off. Yes, we survive. Whew. This is the one I was worried about the most too. Oh, oh, it got a little bit loose there. It just has to be pushed down. Okay, what's next? Three, two, one. Aha. Yes. Three, two, one. Yes. Yes. How do I drop this one, you guys? Okay, I'll do it with a tripod on. I have a feeling I'm gonna break those pieces. Three, two, one. Oh, did you see that jumped? That was kind of cool. I wanna do it again. One. Oh. Okay, second time wasn't as successful, but not too bad. One piece did fly, but that piece flew, like it's somewhere in the office. That's when it's gonna be hard to find. I can probably tell which one I dropped. Thankfully, this actually does come with a couple spares. This one we can drop, no problem. Let's try their old camera. Oh, meh. Three, two, one. Oh, the lens broke off. Oh, it's in total pieces. It's rolled. I should have caught it before it rolled off. <sighs> so, you know, see, version one doesn't hold in as good. I told you this piece comes off pretty easy. Here's the lens. But that actually rolled off the table. It was fine when it hit the table. It's just when it rolled off. You want me to drop the Japanese house? Well, the telephone pole is still missing. So we'll do it without the phone pole because we know that one was fragile. But if I were to drop this one, Pretty little house. Oh yeah! Okay, so don't freak out, it's fine. Everything's, except for this one, survive. So there you go. 
your introduction to Lin 07 Jigao mini blocks. Not nano, not Lego compatible. These are pretty cool. They're not perfect, but they are fun. So if you're hesitating or if you've seen these and you're like, what kind of ghetto? I'm not sure. Or if you just, if you're into cameras for sure, get it. I think they're actually pretty cool. All right, these are available on my store or anywhere else you want to buy them, but you can find them on brickmapscotty.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and am I missing anything? Dimensions, do you need to see dimensions? You, it fits in the palm of your hands, man. It'll be fine, no need to. Just, you know, fun thing, man. So thank you so much. I'll be back with some bigger videos, all right? Until next time, a brick me out. I just like spinning it. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. Printing. Oh, is that what you really look like? Man, you ugly. Oh, you're so pretty. Why'd you pull your pants down? Yo, yo, that's kind of spooky, man. There's something behind you.